What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Monday, and welcome to this week's episode of Rent TNH. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and today I'm going to be talking about the $35,000 watch that is worth every penny. All right, quick wristwatch check. I am wearing a beautiful watch, um, a, a Zodiac a Hermetic Aerospace Jet. Uh, this is the second one of these I've owned. The first one was in white, this one's in black, but equally beautiful. 24 hour dials are very rare, uh, and the ones that do exist typically are on are on sports watches, like certain vintage Breitling chronographs, um, that exists. But putting those Breitlings aside, there's very little left. Uh, there's the JLC Quartermaster, and then there's this. Um, there are a few others, but these are the big boys. This watch will be available in the watch shop at theoandharris.com, early tomorrow, so stay tuned. But what is also now available in the shop at theoandharris.com is the first uh, of our new series of TNH gear. This awesome Cyclops t-shirt. It's a little bit obscure. I'm sure that most people won't get it, um, but if you are familiar you know, with Rolex and you have a passion uh, for the brand, like we do here at TNH. This is kind of a must have. And since Anna put it together, it really is a TNH in house job. They will only be for sale for the next two weeks on pre order, so make sure you head on over and pick them up. Supplies are limited, and that's it. Now let's get into the $35,000 watch. Okay, so what is it? It's a modern classic. It's in yellow gold. It's manufactured by Patek Philippe, and it's very, very complicated. It's the reference 3940, uh, and it is, without question, my grail watch. Introduced in 1986, the 3940 was manufactured until 2006 in yellow rose white gold and platinum. That's a 20-year uninterrupted run uh, by Patek Philippe, which is a huge deal. But why is this? or any watch for that matter, uh, worth $35,000. Let's start here, 1986, the middle of the quartz crisis, the end of watchmaking as we know it. And Patek, unlike almost anyone else, doubled down. Like the industry titan they're supposed to be, they didn't hedge, you know, they didn't frighten, they invested their resources in this. You know, a highly complicated, serially produced timepiece. So before all else, and there is much else, the 3940 represents, maybe more than any other watch ever produced, steadfast dedication you know, to traditional watchmaking, even in the face of massive adversity. And I love an underdog. Okay, but looking beyond the macro, you know, what makes the watch so great? Let's start off with the movement. Measuring at just 3.75 millimeters, the caliber 240Q is really a work of art. You know, it's super slim, it's finely decorated, and it's configured perfectly. That off-center 22 karat gold micro-rotor allows us to both wear the 3970 for weeks without running the risk of forgetting to wind, and then in turn, without having to reset the entire perpetual calendar, as well as constantly enjoy every facet of the movement without rotor obtrusion. So yes, you now know that the movement is sick, you know, but that's not all. Let's talk about the case. 36 millimeters in diameter. The 3940's precious case is well-rounded. And I think because of that step bezel, it has a very subtle depth. And at just nine millimeters thick, it's a very slim watch overall. And look at that dial. The classic opaline white, depending on the case metal, has a metallic or creamy appearance. But either way, it's very discreet. And its configuration and fonts, unlike its successor, the 5140, I think, are just perfect. It's so well balanced and not, by any stretch of the imagination, cluttered like a watch so complicated could very easily become. I mean, damn, you know, there's something so underwhelming almost, I don't know if that's the right word, maybe um, unassuming, surely, about the watch that I love. I mean, we're talking about hot horology here, you know, the entry point into a level that is pretty usually in your face, but this isn't. And even in its most ostentatious metal, yellow gold, it's such a traditional and conservative wristwatch. No wonder why Philippe Stern, the Swiss Don Rickles lookalike, and a retired president of Patek Philippe, the one man, choose and wear anything he'd like, had the 3940 as his daily wearer. 
So yeah, if I ever have Scrooge McDuck money and then can bring myself mentally to dropping $35,000 on a watch, this will be it. But my guess is if that ever does happen, this watch will be well into the 40s or 50s. So that's it, geeks. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to the Theo and Harris channel. Head on over to the shop to pre-order your first Theo and Harris Cyclops t-shirt, and I will see you all tomorrow.